Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my ChadDeckard.com podcast show. My shows will cover how online and offline marketing and communications can grow your business, as well as topics on tips, tricks and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and travel and adventure. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do others and uh, myself a favor by sharing it, reposting it, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my show. I greatly appreciate your support and efforts. Now, let's get down to business. In today's show, I am going to discuss um, the next point. I'd say it's the fourth point in 10 innovative ways that you can make your marketing more strategic and effective with limited resources, time, and money in a tough economic times. Uh, This is a 10-part series that I started at the beginning of 2013. So you might want to go back probably, I would say, one, two, three, four episodes because there's an intro episode to the 10 parts. And I did, uh, uh, I'll go over the 10 innovative ways uh, right now. I did a show on finding your ideal prospect, which is number one. Number two is what makes your business different than your competition. Number three is develop a core message that addresses your ideal prospect's need. And number four is use the ADA, A-I-D-A formula in your sales letters and direct response material, which is what this show is all about. And number five is total internet presence. Number six is referral marketing. Number seven is connect with the media. Number eight is create a sales system. And number nine is schedule your marketing. And finally, number 10 is set the stage so that your employees know what's happening and why. So in today's episode, like I said, uh, we're covering the fourth way, and that is using the ADA formula in your sales letters and direct response material. So um, I do want to say that uh, I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. Uh, what a difference it does make in motivating me to put these shows out there and continue to think of the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all. So thank you very much. I ask you to continue to do so. Something that would be really great for me, and I'm trying to actually do an experiment for all of those who are really listening to this show, is please, if you could, share, uh, repost, email, put it in your newsletter, put it on your blog, put it on your uh, uh, social media, just get, put it out there that I uh, that I actually do this show. I really would like to see if by me really asking you and if I can get a response from my listening audience to do this, I'd love to see what kind of jump and a lift that I can actually get out of it. And I'd really like to see what happens week after week. And if you do so, I'll be glad to share some really hardcore numbers with you. And that way you kind of get an idea of the power in which uh, podcasting can have if you obviously approach it to do it right. And so this is part of me and my learning process as well, doing podcasting for the first time in many, many years. It was a lot different back uh, 10 years ago, um, and it was presented in a different way, more so in more of a uh, conference call or a conference bridge and having a limited amount of people that can listen to at a certain time. Um, but as of here, you can listen to it whenever you want, anywhere in the world. So there is a lot less limitations than uh, in the past. I also want to invite you to continue to post and send your comments in regards to this podcast show. And uh, what I did was I set up another cool way to actually verbally leave a comment on my show uh, when you give feedback. So in order to do that, you need to go to my website. That is chaddeckard.com or cdeckard.com. And that's c and that's D-E-C-K-A-R-D dot com. I would like for you to look to the upper right-hand side of the homepage where it says leave a voicemail message. Uh, if you click that, you'll be able to leave audio comments, and I'll uh, transfer them to the recordings of my show that so that all of you out there can hear a question that's relative that um, I may answer right here on this show. And uh, if you have a really cool product or service, too, I'll even allow you to be able to plug that, too. So uh, that'll give you some incentive to uh, leave me a question to answer now. 
bear in mind that I can only possibly do, you know, one, two, three of these for per episode. So uh, I don't like to see, uh, you know, four or five hundred of these come in at once. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of the show. And uh, today we're going to cover the ADA formula. A lot of you who are marketers been in the business for quite a long time know what the ADA formula is, but it's time to kind of go back to the basics and get refreshed and think about ADA in our current economic market. It might be time to think about uh, and getting back to the basics of attention, interest, desire, and action advertising formula called ADA, A-I-D-A. Okay, well, every day, you know, we're bombarded with headlines like uh, free gift inside. Dear Jim, you have been specially selected. Calling all parents. So in a world full of advertising and information delivered in all sorts of media from print to websites, billboards to radio and TV to text messages, every message has to work extremely hard to get noticed. And it's not just advertising messages that have to work hard. Every report you write, presentation you deliver or email you send is competing for your audience's attention. As the world of advertising becomes more and more competitive, Advertising becomes more and more sophisticated, yet the basic principles behind advertising copy remain. That it must attract attention and persuade someone to take action. And this idea remains true simply because human nature doesn't really change. Sure, you know, we become increasingly discerning, but to persuade people to do something, you still need to grab their attention, their interest, them in how your product or service can help them, and then persuade them to take action that you want them to take, such as buying your product or visiting your website. The acronym AIDA, A-I-D-A, is a handy tool for ensuring that your copy and other writing grabs attention. The acronym stands for Attention or Attract, Interest, Desire, and Action. These are the four steps that you need to take your audience through if you want them to buy your product or visit your website, or indeed take on a, a broad of messages in, in your report. So here's how to use this tool. Use the ADA approach when you write a piece of text that has the ultimate objective of getting others to take action. The elements of the acronym are as follows. Number one, attention and attract. In our media-filled world, you need to be quick and direct to grab people's attention. Use powerful words or a picture that will catch the reader's eye and make them stop and read what you have to say next. With most office workers suffering from email overload, action-seeking emails need subject lines that will encourage recipients to open them and read the contents. For example, to encourage people to attend a company training session on giving feedback, the email headline should be, How effective is your feedback? is more likely to grab attention than purely factual one as this week's seminar on feedback. You got it? Okay, let's move on to number two, interest. This is one of the most challenging stages. You've got to have the attention of a chunk of your target audience, but you can engage with them enough so that they'll want to spend their precious time understanding your message in more detail. So, Gaining the reader's interest is a deeper process than grabbing their attention. They will give you a little more time to do it, but you must stay focused on their needs. This means helping them pick out the messages that are relevant to them quickly. So use bullets and subheadings and break up the text to make your points stand out. More information on understanding your target audience interests and expectations in the context of your message. So go ahead and go to my uh, website, cdecker.com, to find some more uh, information in regards to uh, building interest or a rhetoric triangle. Okay, number three is desire. The interest and desire parts of the ADA go hand in hand. As you're building the reader's interest, you also need to help them understand how and what you're offering that can help them in a real way. The main way of doing this is by appealing to their personal needs and wants. So rather than simply saying, our lunchtime seminar will teach you feedback skills, explain to the audience what's in it for them. Quote, get what you need from other people and save time and frustration by learning how to give them good feedback. That sounds a lot more exciting than the, the prior. 
All right. Well, you know, desire is also created in uh, a feature or a benefit, which is fab. <laughs> a good way of building the reader's desire for your offering is to link features and benefits. Hopefully, the significant features of your offering have been designed to give a specific benefit to members of your target audience. When it comes to the marketing company, it's important that you don't forget those benefits at this stage. When you describe your offering, don't just give the facts and the features and expect the audience to work out the benefits for themselves. Tell them the benefits clearly to create that interest and desire. Here's an example. All right. Quote, this laptop case is made of aluminum. Well, that describes a feature and leaves the audience thinking, so what? Persuade the audience by adding the benefits, giving a stylish look that's kinder to your back and shoulders. So, I would say something like, this laptop case is made of aluminum, giving a stylish look that's kinder to your back and shoulders. You may want to take this further by appealing to people's deeper drives, giving effortlessly portably, portability and sleek appearance that will be envy of your friends and coworkers. So you could be saying something like, this laptop case is made of aluminum, giving effortless portability and a sleek appearance, and that will be the envy of your friends and coworkers. I think that sounds a lot better than uh, the previous with this laptop case is made of aluminum, right? Okay, so hopefully you get my uh, idea of how to make it really fab, and that's by using features and benefits within your desire. And number four, we need conviction. As hardened consumers, we tend to be skeptical about marketing claims. It's no longer enough simply to say that a book is a bestseller. For example, but our readers will take notice if we state accurately, of course, that the book has been in the New York Times bestseller list for 10 weeks. For example, so try to use hard data where it's available. When you haven't got the hard data, yet the product offering is sufficiently important, consider generating some data, for example, by commissioning a survey. That would help. And number five is action. So, finally, be very clear about what action you want your readers to take. For example, visit chaddecker.com now for more information, rather than just leaving people to work that out for themselves. So, I want you to visit chaddecker.com. That's the action. That's what I want you to do. You got to tell the person what you want them to do. Think of them as your child or a first grader. Without telling them what to do, they're not going to know what to do. So key points here. AIDA, A-I-D-A, is a copywriting acronym that stands for Attract and Attention, Interest, Desire, and Action. Using it will help you to ensure that any kind of writing whose purpose is to get the reader to do something is as effective as possible. First, it must grab the target audience's attention and engage their interest and then it must build desire for the product offering before setting out on how to take action that the writer wants the audience to take. And that's about it for this show. And uh, I really do appreciate you uh, tuning in. If you uh, like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, chaddecker.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitchner listener, you can take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. I invite you to give the rest of the listeners and myself all the feedback that you can contribute or support because you are part of what makes this show a success. Please click your share and like button for this audio or video version of this show on your social networks like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and your blog. I really appreciate you doing so. Well, that's it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.